I'm digital artist Aaron Rutten, and today I'll demonstrate a few of the different things you can do with the new color selection brushes in Corel Painter 2023. The selection brushes in Painter 2023 have been enhanced with a magic wand-like power, which enables you to select specific areas of color by painting over it. This can be useful for isolating objects from a background, changing the color of elements in a layer, and more. Let's see how it works. I'll open an image with a fairly simple sky, choose a selection brush like Color Soft. The brushes with color in the name already have this property applied, but you can activate the color selection mode from the properties bar under Tolerance. There I have quick access to the color tolerance, and I can open the color selection options flyout. I'll pop open the color selection options panel while we're working. Now I can easily paint over this guy to select it. It's important to note that the first color I click on will be the target color or range of colors that will be selected. There is a reminder for this in the panel. As long as the pen is held down, the selection will grow, but stay within the bounds of the target color range. If you're having trouble seeing the selection while you're working, you can use the view options in the properties bar to show the selection marquee, a colored overlay, or both. I can even save these settings as a preset. I'll lift my pen and click on another more cyan blue and repeat that until I have most of the sky selected. It may be necessary to refine the selection using the properties in the color selection panel to select a wider or tighter color range. I'll reduce the color tolerance a bit so that I don't select the mountains in the background. You can also find this under Tolerance in the Properties bar when a selection brush is active. Likewise, I can expand or contract the brightness range of the color selected by changing the brightness tolerance. This can be used in combination with the color tolerance slider to fine tune the selected color range. I'll select the soft variant, which has color selection mode disabled, and I'll use the new keyboard shortcut of Alt to subtract the small areas that I don't want to be included in the selection. Hiding and showing the various selection visualization options really helps me see those areas I need to clean up. Now I can easily change the color using an effect. I'll shift the hue a bit. I can also use the selection as a stencil to paint on another layer to glaze or tint the sky. Or I can replace the sky entirely. And if I invert the selection of the sky, I can select everything else and modify that as well. You can find that in the new Select panel, or there's a shortcut for that in the Properties bar under Select. It's now easier to change the shape of selection brushes with quick access to the Shape properties in the Properties bar. The Shape flyout shows you the Dab Profile, Dab Stencil, and the Papers, Textures, or Flow Maps that are used in the Dab Stencil. If the brush supports it, you can also open the Captured flyout, which has lots of unique dabs to choose from. This may make it easier to get the selection shape you want. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. Comment and let us know what you think about color selection brushes in Painter 2023.